keep making it out to be your fault and you keep agreeing with them. You even apologize when it isn't your fault, when you know inside of you that it isn't your fault. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nolly Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence, in leaving behind the pain and the limiting stories of the past, in rising victorious in your true design life. It is a life of freedom, of fulfillment. It's a financially abundant life. It's a love-drenched life if you're willing to claim it. I say this all the time, if you're willing to claim it. Now, you get yourself into these situations with relationships where you are always apologizing. You always feel like the one in the wrong. When you ask for something, it's, it's taken as you're being too needy. And somehow the conversation turns to their own needs again. Okay, And you keep thinking that they're going to change one day. That if you just keep putting up with this, if you just keep loving them, if you just keep improving yourself according to what they've decided you are bad at, that finally they will become the person that you need them to be and they will love you in the way that you need them to love you. And you continually put yourself down. Now you are someone who is pretty dang powerful. You have achieved all kinds of different things in different areas of your life. But when it comes to relationships, you seem to keep having this experience, different faces, same situations. You're always in the wrong. You're always, you know, apologizing for something or the other. Yes, people come to you. They depend on you. They drain you all the time. And you keep saying yes. You keep apologizing. Are you done with that? Are you done with that? Because this is wrecking your confidence. This is making you feel as though there is something wrong with you and that you need to be the one always correcting, always changing yourself. And you even tell yourself, well, but I'm awake, you know, I'm woke, you know, and, and they're not. So I'll make concession for them. They just don't understand. And so you keep trying and trying to be what? When will you finally realize that some people are actually literally gaslighting you. So they always make you feel as if you're the one in the wrong. And others just don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> they just don't realize what's going on. Yes, like you said, you're more awake than they are. But does that make them any less powerful than you? Because you do keep seeing other people as in some way weaker than you, though you would never say that. But because you are the strong one, you can put up with more than they can. So if you just get stronger and you just get better, they will finally be better. No, honey. Everyone is powerful in their own right. Everyone is capable of making the same choices that you're making. Yeah, well, <laughs> the more powerful versions of your choices anyway. Your confidence is, 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 taking a, is taking a hit. Because every time you allow people to define you as somehow not good, even when you know that you're doing your best. What is that doing for your inner world? You are supposed to be your greatest champion. And yet you're allowing people to speak negativity and nonsense over you and you're accepting it as gospel truth. What do you think that's doing to your confidence? What do you think that's doing to your relationship with the divine? If you continually feel that there's something wrong with you, do you really think that you will allow the divine to love you in the way that you know you deserve to be loved? There'll probably even be a bit of a rift in your relationship with the divine because you think there's something wrong with you and you keep putting up with other people's nonsense. I'm calling you to wake up to who you are, honey. Wake up to who you really truly are and stop putting up with the nonsense of other people. I'm not saying everybody is nonsense and I'm not saying we have to desert every single soul, although sometimes that is the wise thing to do. It's time for you to really truly own your power and to rise up, to rise up. Get the confidence book, the Deliberate Millionaire's Confidence book. It's going to give you some strategies to start trusting yourself again and to regain your self confidence because though you may not know it because you're still you know act you're still um, operating really well in certain areas of your life your confidence your self-belief is being shaken by these crazy relationships i cannot tell you the number of clients that the biggest reason why they're not achieving the goals that they've set for themselves 
is because of the relationships in their life. Literally, relationships are one of the most powerful area that stops people from moving forward. Isn't it enough, honey? So come, go and get the book. The link will be around this video somewhere. Go get the book, read through it, start applying those strategies to your life. The point of getting the book really is to get yourself onto the deliberate millionaire path to peace and plenty. Yes, when you get on that path, it will support you in regaining trust for yourself, regaining your confidence, leaving behind the nonsense because you deserve better. Are you ready to claim that better? This is what I know for sure. You are meant to thrive and you're meant to prosper in all of your ways, not just some. Are you ready to step into the more? Get the book. As I say, the link is around this video. Okay, share this video with somebody else. And until the next time, much amazing love.